So you wanna make six figures a year from the comfort of your own home, from your laptop and your internet connection, but you have zero clue where to start. Listen, we've all been there where we've searched how to make money online and we see all of these gurus who are preaching to build a Facebook marketing agency for e-commerce businesses, or maybe they're talking about selling copywriting services or TikTok organic drop shipping. And while all of those are viable business models, they are high competition and they are low barrier of entry. So I'm gonna kick those to the side and I'm gonna share nine ways that you can go ahead and start making 9K a month or more. So to preface, if I lost everything today and I had to start completely from scratch, I would do one of three things. I would either start a service-based business, I would start a product-based business, Business, or I would look for a high paying remote job. Now I know what you're probably thinking about that last one, but hear me out until the end of this video. So let's talk about service-based businesses. They are incredibly lucrative because they are very low startup costs. And if you already have a skill that is monetizable and that can provide value to other individuals or business owners, then literally all you need is a form of lead flow in order to get those clients or customers and a mechanism in which you can deliver on that service that it is that you're offering them. And nowadays, if you wanna learn a skill that you have no idea how to do, you could probably master it within six to 12 months of you know eight to 12 hour days going on YouTube, taking notes, practicing, executing, and implementing, but not all of us have eight to 12 hour days for six to 12 months to figure it out. So you probably wanna to resort to a skill that you already Already have or that you can learn from a company that is paying you to learn it. So the first type of servicing based business that I would consider operating is an email outbound agency. Now to run an email outbound agency, it's actually a lot simpler than you might think. There's really just three skills that you need to learn. Number one is lead sourcing. So you have to figure out a way to get a lead list of potential customers and clients to whatever businesses that you're offering this service to. Number two is you have to have a basic fundamental understanding of copywriting so that you can reach out to those potential customers of your client and be able to position their offer in a compelling way to get them to take out their credit card and pay your client for their services. And number three, you have to learn how to use some tech and softwares to be able to organize the sending of those emails or LinkedIn DMs or whatever it is that you're doing to actually make sure that you can consistently reach out to a high volume of potential customers for the clients that you're working with. Now, as far as the industries that I would look to work with, I'd probably stay away from e-commerce marketing agencies because that's a very competitive space for email outbound. And I would instead look to partner with maybe newsletters or or podcast to help them get sponsors because it's a unique business where the offer positioning is actually a lot easier and the competition is so much lower. Now that brings me into the next service-based business, which is podcast or newsletter management services. Now, after having grown my own podcast and newsletters, I've actually found it to be quite monetizable, a lot more than I ever thought it would be. But with that comes its own set of challenges for actually managing the pre and the post production of a podcast or being able to consistently write high quality newsletters and go reach out to potential sponsors who are interested in partnering and collaborating with us. And that has actually taken a 10 to 12 person full-time team in order to really execute and pull off. And so as a service, if you go out there and you partner with podcasts or newsletters and you help them get sponsors or manage their newsletter or manage the pre and the post production of their podcast, they're likely going to be willing to pay you a ton of money. And you specifically probably wanna reach out to entrepreneurial podcasts and newsletters because those are the guys with the big bucks who are willing to pay you the most and where your service is gonna be most valuable. You probably don't wanna be going to those two guys who are in their garage talking about NBA sports teams because there's probably not gonna be a lot of money to be made there. And the last service-based business that I would recommend is actually an e-commerce landing page design agency. Now, e-commerce brands get marketed to every single day with different types of offers, pitches, and services. And I know this because not only do I run a marketing agency, but I also run e-commerce brands. And so I get those pitches and I see how atrocious that most of them are, but I also recognize how easy it is to stand out in the marketplace if you're offering a unique service. And while there are hundreds of content agencies, thousands of marketing agencies, there are actually quite a few specialized landing page design agencies. So whether you learn that skill yourself or you partner with someone who already has that skill, that is such a lucrative business model to get into because it's one of the biggest problems that most e-commerce businesses have that other people aren't readily available trying to pitch them on services to help them solve. So to wrap up the service-based business model, a word that you should keep in mind is unique. 
you either have to sell to a very, very unique market or you have to sell a very, very unique service to a traditional market or business. That way you can ensure that you'll stand out in the marketplace, you'll be able to charge premium prices, and you won't have a ton of competition flocking to your left and right. So now let's talk about product-based businesses. You're probably thinking TikTok dropshipping, Amazon FBA, and while again, those are great business models, there's incredibly high competition, there's a lot of startup costs, and it also requires a ton of experience, which you might not have at this very moment. So I would instead recommend to actually partner with influencers or even brick and mortar brands that haven't branched off into building a D2C e-commerce business. So for example, you might have a local chef that is an absolute badass at cooking up Korean barbecue dishes, and maybe he's got a quarter million followers on TikTok and on Instagram, but he doesn't really have anything to sell them. So now you can actually come in and say, hey, what if I partnered with you on an e-commerce brand and I built out the entire front end and back end, I'll manage all of the inventory, the customer service, I'll help consult you on designs, all of those things, and all you have to do is market it, and we'll just split the profit down the middle. Or of course, whatever alternative arrangement that you can work out. If you reach out to enough of these influencers and you pitch them on really good ideas that you can genuinely work your ass off and fulfill on, then there's very few reasons why someone would say no to you. If you're doing all the heavy lifting, they're just promoting it and they're going to be able to add an additional income source to whatever they're currently making without having to lift a finger. Same thing with brick and mortar mom and pop shops, right? If you find a company that is selling something and they're selling it very well and they have a lot of money, but they just haven't branched off into an e-commerce business, don't be afraid to reach out to them and say, hey, why haven't you guys expanded? Is that something you maybe want help with? I'd be willing to do it completely for free. Just give me a percentage of the profit that you guys make. Now that brings me to the next product-based business that I would recommend that allows you to kind of lean off of something that someone else has already built which is affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing is when you sell someone else's product or service and you get a kickback for the leads, the customers, the sales that they can attribute back to you. Now here's the kicker. Instead of going on TikTok and promoting some Amazon affiliate links where you're gonna make four bucks a sale, I would recommend promoting high ticket software companies or SaaS companies that provide a very, very valuable service to businesses that can afford to spend a lot of money to solve whatever problem that that software is solving. So for example, let's say you're in the e-commerce industry or you're familiar with the e-commerce industry. You can strategically market Hyros, which is a tracking and attribution software to other business owners that you can assume probably have a tracking and attribution problem. And I know this from firsthand experience because we had one client that was paying Hyros about $3,600 a month and my agency was getting $1,200 a month in pure profit and commission just from that one client every single month. And all we had to do was recommend that software. And believe it or not, there are hundreds of softwares that can pay you anywhere between a hundred and even thousands of dollars per month for every single month that that customer continues to remain a customer to that software. So just remember the bigger the problem that that product solves, the more that they can likely charge and the bigger the company that you refer to that service or that software, the bigger those commission checks can be. Now, speaking of checks, that brings me to my last product-based business idea, which is selling digital products or courses. Now, you've all probably been pitched on a course on how to sell on Amazon or how to sell on Shopify or even how to build a marketing agency. But did you know that there was a guy that made over $250,000 in one year teaching people how to do handstands? So there's a lot of skills that you might be sitting on that you're able to monetize and package in a course or a digital product that can genuinely help expedite someone else's learning process or can help solve a problem that they might be experiencing that's worth 99, 199, maybe even $999 to them. So figure out what that skill that you have is that you think is worth a good amount of money to a good amount of people and start making content, promoting people to that course website or to that digital product website landing page, which you could probably figure out how to set up in under an hour. So now that brings me to my last money-making idea category. For those of you that might be less tech savvy or that don't wanna set up website landing pages or build out a course or learn how to promote all these complicated softwares, and that's to get a high paying job. More specifically and ideally a high paying job where you're actively learning how to build high income skills. So we're gonna start with one that a lot of people already know about and that you've probably seen a course on why you should try doing it yourself and why you shouldn't build a business and why you should instead work for other businesses because it could be even more lucrative. And that's remote closing. 
So whether you want to close for a solar company or an e-commerce marketing agency, the idea behind remote closing and a remote sales position is that you can help another company get more sales, close more deals, make more money, and then just get a small commission of whatever you help them close. It's kind of like affiliate marketing, but you have a little bit more of an established role where you're usually facing the actual lead or the potential customer. You're on the phone, you're trying to pitch the service yourself so that they can pull out their credit card live and give it to you to close that deal. Now, personally, I would recommend trying to do this for a very unique business model because regardless of what business that you work with, you're gonna learn a shit ton about sales and it's one of the most valuable skills that you need to learn if you ever wanna run your own business. But if you do it for a unique type of business, it's probably gonna be a lot easier to sell for. For example, my marketing agency might take 10 sales calls a week and we're lucky to maybe close one or two because out of those 10, a lot of them might not be qualified to work with us, or they might just be window shopping based on price, because there's a lot of competition and other marketing agencies that they can easily go and work with. The problem is they're not gonna get as good of a service, but that's a story for another time. Whereas on the other hand, my podcast and my newsletter, we might take three sales calls a week and close one or two of them just because it's a very unique and a refreshing offer to a marketplace that gets sold a ton of other garbage and services that aren't really valuable to what it is that they're looking for. So just to reiterate a remote sales position, specifically for a unique business that's likely easy to sell for. And if you reach out to them and say, hey, I'm willing to work for you for free, I just want a small commission on the deals that I do close you, then not only are you building valuable skills, but you're also making money along the way. And then eventually you can either open up your own company that helps other types of businesses do that same thing, or you can just offer the service to multiple other companies, or you can just accelerate your position within whatever company that you started with, as long as it's making you a good amount of money. Now, the second job that I would recommend that's a little bit more fun than a traditional job that you can work remotely and that you can get paid a shit ton of money for is getting involved in organic and paid social media marketing, as well as content consulting. Now, again, personally, I wouldn't do this for e-commerce businesses. I would try doing this for businesses like real estate agents or even local businesses that are trying to grow their brand awareness, get more customers, get more leads, whatever it might be, the whole world. There are so many businesses that solely want to prioritize getting new business. And so any skill that you can learn to help them get new business is worth a lot of money. But rather than going and reaching out to these companies as some big agency owner where they think you have a lot of staff and you're gonna be overcharging them, don't be afraid to reach out and just say, hey, can I work for you? Can I run your ads completely for free and just get a percentage of the new business that I can prove that I'm bringing you? And so you can either do that through organic content creation, through paid social media marketing. You can shadow a company's marketing department and just help them get better results. And as long as you can show them that you are making them more money and that you can get a small piece of the new revenue that you're bringing them, then you can actually scale this income stream up pretty fast. Now, last but not least, you've probably heard of the concept around building a short form content agency. It's a very, very popular thing to do. However, it's very, very competitive and people aren't doing it very well. A lot of these businesses and services and offers are ineffective for a ton of people who are pitching them because they're not pitching them in the right way. So as I just mentioned, some companies are not gonna like the idea of you reaching out to them as another company, and they're gonna prefer that you reach out to them as an individual who is looking to work for them instead of with them. So rather than building a short form content agency, which is really just positioned as a mechanism to get business owners views, I would personally position myself as an inbound marketing consultant and appointment setter. Now, all that inbound marketing means is that if you are a business that is selling a product or a service, inbound marketing is when customers are coming to you so that you don't have to go to customers. Whereas if you're email marketing customers or you're running ads to get customers, that's all outbound because it takes effort to reach out to them in order to eventually get them as a customer. So as an inbound marketing consultant, you'll essentially just be fulfilling a similar role to what a short form content agency would do, but you're sprinkling in a couple other things and you're repositioning it from a content agency to a client acquisition agency. So we've all seen those ads from guys like Ty Lopez that say, hey, here in my garage, you wanna know how I got this? Knowledge, buy my marketing course, right? And then they have courses, they have coaching, they have all of these things. And they likely have a 10, 15, 20 person staff that helps 
fuel that sales engine in order to continuously get new customers. So the idea here is that you would be able to fill a role within their company to purely focus on getting them new customers organically through content creation, through DM outreach, whatever it might be where you can get scrappy and you can help get them new customers. So let's say your favorite e-commerce guru has an e-commerce discord coaching community and he charges maybe 150 bucks a month to be in that community. What you can do is say, hey, Mr. E-commerce guru, what if I helped you create 30 videos a month? I distributed those across four short form marketing platforms and I helped you write tweets, LinkedIn posts, reply and filter all of the messages that you get in your Instagram DMs and help you convert all of those leads into potential paying clients. And all that I ask of you is that you use my affiliate link to give me a small cut of all the new revenue that I help you drive through your social media. And on top of all that, what if I told you it only take you less than an hour a week? Right. If someone reached out to me and they offered all of that for commission only and I had an offer that I can monetize and that they can get commission from, that would be an absolute no brainer offer to me because you're reaching out and saying, hey, I'm going to handle all of your content. You're just going to have to spend an hour to film it, but I'll conceptualize all the ideas. I'll ghostwrite all the tweets and get them approved by you. I'll write some LinkedIn posts. I'll upload them on all of the social media platforms that I possibly can. And I can almost guarantee that you're going to get a shit ton more business from it. And all that I ask in exchange is you take my affiliate link for your discord coaching community or for your course, whatever it is that you're selling. And you put that in your social media bios that I'm going to be working really hard to get you clients for. I'll even live inside of your DMs and I'll message every single person that's interested in your products or services and I'll pre-sell them on it and I'll funnel them to buy exactly what it is that you're selling, right? To me, that is just such a no-brainer offer and it's angled in a way that's better and that has a lot more value than just a short-form content agency. So maybe you've already tried building out a short-form content agency or if you've seen a bunch of videos of people talking about how it's such a lucrative business model, if you just reposition it and you tweak it to where you can increase the value that you're providing to those businesses, business owners and you reach out to again those unique business owners that have really cool businesses sell really cool products and services preferably at a high value so you can get those bigger paychecks and commissions to me that's just an absolute no-brainer as a business model that you can get into build incredibly high skills and all of these job opportunities that we're talking about are all just ways to build high income skills and as an excuse to actually get paid to learn skills that Lots of people have to pay multiple five, even six figures in order to learn. And so you can take those skills and you can end up building a service-based business out of it or just partnering as a consultant with multiple other companies once you really dial in on that delivery mechanism, if you will. All right, I know that was a lot, but I really wanted to provide as much value as possible in this video. And all that I ask in return is if you did get any ounce of value from this video, just click that thumbs up button. It really helps out the channel. It helps me get this video and all my other videos out to more people who desperately need to watch it. And I want you to comment below if you've tried any of these business models or if you plan on trying any of them, because I'm super curious. But other than that, I hope you enjoyed and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.